Today we're going to check out two AI image upscalers, Image Larger and the Image Upscaler. Now both of these services are owned by the same company, but they do slightly different things. So I thought what I'd do is go through, we're going to go through a tutorial of each to show you how they work, but also going to compare the befores and the afters and also compare the two platforms to see how good they really are. So let's jump on the computer. I'm going to run through this right now. Now, Image Larger are sponsoring this video, and there is a link in the description to both of these services. But first of all, I have this image, which I want to attempt to upscale is 800 pixels by 800 pixels. So I'm on Image Larger, and I'm simply going to drag and drop that image in here. Keeping in mind, I can add more than one. But what I really want to do is see if I can go up 800%. And when I'm ready, I can hit Start All if I have several I want to start, or I can just simply hit Click Start. And we'll begin to upscale my image and even send me an email once it's done. Now the image upscaler, basically we have the same process. Drag and drop, we're gonna to go to 400, which is the max in this case, and then we're going to click start. And while it upscales, let's see if Image Larger has finished our other image. So you can see here from imagelarger.com, I've received an email saying my image is good to go. I'm gonna click here to get it. And this is the result we have. So that's not too bad. I zoom in and it's a pretty gigantic image. Let's download this image for comparison in a minute. Let's do the same for Image Upscaler and pop them all into Photoshop to compare. Now I'm in Photoshop and we're zoomed in on my 800 by 800 pixel original image. You can see that uh, some of the detail there is gone and it's not quite as good. So let's take a look. First of all, we're gonna to go to Image Upscaler because it was only a 400% upscale. So we're going to turn off our original image to reveal the new upscale. And if you look at the hair, this is the first place you can notice it. Zoom in on some of the hair here. Original image upscale. It's refined the hair and actually upscaled it. Now the full image when you zoom out looks pretty solid. I think it's done a really great job of enhancing the details without overdoing some of the simpler areas, giving you a good contrast between detailed and smooth, even down to the chain down here. It's done a great job of really converting that to something uh, sort of higher resolution. So Image Upscaler seems to be a pretty powerful tool for improving and enlarging your images. So this time we'll go from Image Upscaler to Image Larger. So just before we go any further, I want to mention the Image Upscaler. This image is 3200 by 3200 pixels because it has gone 400% on the original. But the Image Larger is 6400 by 6400 because we were able to go up 800 percent so let's compare these two together image larger has upscaled that image but the detail is not quite as good and it seems to be there are two different uses for both of these uh, upscales which we're going to look at soon but straight away you can see it's gotten a bit simpler and the hair isn't quite as good the image upscaler has done a better job at enhancing those features so straight off the bat, we can see image upscaler seems to be a bit more powerful. However, it just can't go to those higher sizes. So that's something to consider if you're choosing between these two. Now I'm gonna throw a few different photos, designs and AI art and things like that at this platform to see what results we get from both upscalers. But before I do, I just wanted to mention also, if you go to the website under AI tools, you've got a whole bunch of other tools here as well, such as an image enhancer, cartoonizer, Anime, 16K, Image Denoiser, all these things you can also play with. And while we're looking at it too, you can try this out for free. I'm currently on the premium plan, but you can try it out for free, 10 credits per month. So if you wanna actually test this out to make sure you're okay with it, once again, there's a link in the description below. But let's throw some images at this tool to see what we can do. Now I've started off by testing some mid-journey AI art, which is this cat I produced a while ago seems to be very popular, and I wanted to see what kind of result we would have with these upscalers. So if I zoom in, this is the original image, and you can see how it starts to pixelate on the edge of the glasses and here, and also we can get a glimpse of where the hair is. So by turning on the image upscaler, which is 4X, you can see how good of a job it's done increasing that, smoothing things out, and even adding in some detail into the hair. So it's done a really great job there. We move on to Image Larger, and it's still done a decent job, but it's a little bit fuzzier. But overall, for this artwork, if I was to get it printed, the Image Larger, although it's probably not as detailed as the Image Upscaler, actually does a pretty good job, and I think would print quite well. But if you're looking for that absolute detail, the Image Upscaler does seem to be the uh, better one in this particular case. This is for this 
particular image. But uh, overall, I think that sort of paints the picture. So I decided to move on to something much simpler. Again, this is AI, but uh, more of a vector style illustration because we've gone with detail. What about something simple? Because sometimes what we want to upscale is not always super detailed. So I've zoomed in here and we can see the flat colors. We can see the edges and how we, we can sort of guess how we'd like that to look. I move on to the image upscaler, which is a 4X upscale and everything's pretty clean. Everything's done a pretty good job. We move up. The edges aren't perfectly sharp, but I mean, for what we gave it, it's pretty amazing. When we move on to image larger, it's much sharper and crisper. And in this instance has been the better choice for this image. So clean, sort of very flat color images, definitely image larger is the way to go, I think. Uh, test this out for yourself, but I think image larger seems to be the better choice. Now I've got this image of a woman underwater I found on pexels.com and you can see just how sort of like lost the detail is. This image was only 640 by uh, pixels wide, so it's not a huge image. I go to the image upscaler and it's done a great job of introducing detail and converting those bubbles. So again, it was a pretty low resolution image from 640 up to 2560, but it's done a great job with it so far. We move on to image larger, and it has also done a terrific job. However, there is a little bit of a color separation and noise here that the image upscaler doesn't have. So for this particular image, I still think it's the better choice. Uh, you could probably filter it up in Photoshop a bit, but overall, it's still produced the best detail. And if you're looking to upscale for print, I think image larger would have been the better option for this as well, despite the fact it's probably not as clean as the upscaler. I took this pencil sketch of Batman I did uh, many years ago. Now this is one of the larger images, about 1800 pixels wide. So I use the image upscaler and it's cleaned it up and sort of maintained some of that pencil uh, texture pretty well. And when I move on to say image larger, it smooths out all of that detail. So that could be a desired effect if you were say drawing with pen or something like that to help smooth it, some of it out and clean it up. I would say for a pen drawing, this would probably work better, but because it's a pencil drawing and I want to maintain some of that texture, I think the upscaler has done a better job. So in that sense, I've moved on to some digital art I created also. This is, uh, although there is some detail, it's still a fairly clean image. So this is the original yet again. If I move on to the image upscaler, it has done a fantastic job of bringing that up to a level, keeping it clean, even like a bit of a glow. It really has done a great job in enhancing the details of this image. It's actually pretty close to the original. When I move on to image larger though, I think it does add a little bit of that grain again. So I think the image upscale is probably better, but either one would work. And to be honest, for print, if we needed that extra resolution, I don't know if it's actually going to add anything to it. But you can see how it's treated the lines differently. It really does use a different algorithm. Either or for this one I think is fine. But the image upscaler, once again, it's just a bit more powerful than image larger. Now this I thought was a good test. We've got a handful of faces here and we can really zoom in and see what we get. This again is the original. We're going to start from the left, work our way to the right. We have the image upscaler and everything is clean and the face looks like it's been restored a little bit. This face looks like it's been cleaned up a little bit. The eyes have been, a lot of the features have been enhanced. And it's done a really good job of bringing that image up to something we can probably print. This is also from Pexels. However, I downloaded it at a low resolution to test this out. We move on to image larger. And it's actually a bit more natural. If you look at the eyes and things like that, I feel like technically you would say it's not as good as a job, but as far as a photo goes, I think the results are a little more natural. So it would probably be a better one to print. Again, I feel like if you look at the teeth here, the upscaler has highlighted this tooth a bit more. It still looks fine, but Image Larger has done a better job in this instance. So it just goes to show you that you really need to consider trying both if you want to get the best result you can. Now I also have this image here, which is an anime image made in Mid Journey as well. So they also have the AI anime upscaler on the website as well. So if I zoom in, this is the original. You can see it's a bit pixelated around the ears. I turn on the upscaled version, which is 400%. And the cleanliness of that line work, especially around the hair, it's great for cartoony styled images. So it's done a great job of upscaling 
that particular image to create something quite sharp. So the AI Anime Upscaler is also a really powerful tool if you wanted to explore that. And it's going to quickly touch on some of the other tools that are available as well. Now, as I mentioned, under AI tools, you've got a whole suite of different sort of uh, tools you can use, like this face enhancer, which is pretty handy. Uh, you simply upload your photo and it will enhance faces. Uh, and they all follow that same sort of drag and drop format if you want to use it that way. I use Cartoonify on myself to get uh, some interesting results like the ones you see on screen here. So that was a bit of fun. But also I tried out their free colorizer on the same photo to see what result I get there too. And the AI background removal works pretty well also and it's done a great job with this photo. And then on top of that, there's an object remover where you can take your image, grab a certain brush size, paint over the areas that you don't want, kind of like generative fill and just remove those objects from the scene. So it seems like they're kind constantly expanding and adding new tools to their arsenal, not just image upscalers. And even after upscaling your image, you can go into edit and make edits to that photo, including rotations, there's filters, all sorts of little things you can do to actually really nail down exactly what you're after. So it really has become a full platform for image editing. So if you haven't had a chance, go check out Image Larger. You can try it out for free. There's a link in the description below. I want to thank them for sponsoring this video. And again, if you found it useful, please consider giving the video a like and otherwise, Hope to see you again soon. Have a great day and thanks for watching.